All right, guys, welcome back to a beautiful Sunday morning. I have to tell you, it is nice this morning. Uh, it is just really hard to believe that uh, we are going to be getting four to eight inches of snow tonight. Uh, it feels like, <laughs> like I say, I, I don't know if I'm uh, jumping the gun here or just trying to get spring fever too early, but um, the birds are really singing in the morning. When the sun is out, it does feel a little bit warmer, unless it's just all in my mind, but uh, I think things are changing. Now, next week we'll be in for probably a rude awakening uh, because we have one night is going to be 9 degrees and one night's going to be 6 degrees, so not quite yet. <laughs> but these days like this, like this morning, it just feels so warm and uh, kind of like a like an early, or a, an early spring morning, but... Here the crows are carrying on this morning. Anyway, uh, it's about 7, I think I said about 7.30. Got a couple odds and ends I want to take care of uh, before we start another work week. All right, guys, welcome back. Roll, rolling right along here today. Like I say, it's Sunday. I try to limit the stuff I have <laughs> that I'm doing, uh, but I'm doing it anyway. I ha Like I say, I got to get uh, some things are chores that have to be done on a Sunday. Uh, tomorrow's trash day, so I took my trash out. The grocery shopping is done for the week. Uh, I had this piece of plastic that was in my cellar and instead of buying a welder cover for this uh, Lincoln uh, welder generator um, they do make covers for them but I don't know if they make them for these older models there, there's no reason it's inside but with this roof sweating like it does sometimes uh, depending on the temperature this aluminum roof sweats horribly um, and as we get on in the spring we're going to have cold nights and warm days and everything's just going to be sweated i have come in some days and this is just waterlogged from either it, the roof leaking or it dripping or just whatever so a piece of plastic it was free uh that'll suffice for now it's not a, a thing i use very often um so it's covered it should be good uh have it so that the wind can't pull it off either so all right that's done uh today it's only about nine thirty now <laughs> so like i say we're rolling along um i gotta run over to the other farm and get a i uh, have all my 55 gallon and 30 gallon barrels over there i store them over there i collected a bunch of them over the years uh, i want to get a 30 gallon barrel and cut the top off for my scrap metal um, 30 gallon barrels are easier to handle than the 55 gallon drums you fill a 55 gallon drum full of scrap metal and it gets real hard to move uh yeah i have a loader now i did before i had the 8n ford but um i try to put the barrel in a place where it's not in the way so that way when it's full i'll just roll it over to the bucket Anyway, I have more 30 gallon drums. They're easier to handle. Uh, I don't create that much scrap metal because I don't uh, have much steel to do any uh, metal working anyway. But you've got old rattle cans, a gauge that doesn't work anymore, um, staples, uh, old parts from the 560, just taking up space. The goal is to get this trailer uh, cleared off. I think I'd said that before. Uh, my buddy at his garage has a little, I think it's a 4x8 little uh, road trailer. And the goal for that little trailer is I'm going to put the welder on that and set a little toolbox on there and put all the welding supplies on that little trailer and then take that little trailer with the welder and all the welding stuff and store it over in the other shed and it's out of here. If I need it, I can get it uh, with the ATV now. That ball right there will work perfect uh, to move that little trailer as well as this one. Um, we're going to probably store this fuel tank over there also. Like I said, with this tank now, this one isn't as critical. I probably could sell it and get more than I paid for that tank with the uh, the DC pump that I put the filter kit on, has the nozzle with the automatic shutoff, put a new fuel hose on, repainted it. I mean, it's, it's nice now, um, but I think we're just going to hang on to it for now. We're not facing any pressure now financially so there's no reason to part with it it's better for me to just store it and uh, see what we need so uh, once this is off of here and this is off i want to clean this off this trailer we're going to move right on out of here and this will be the the trailer i can use to pick up bales behind the atv i can pull this with the atv it's just a little light snowmobile trailer uh, if we have some bales that don't fit on the wagon i have to let them in the field or if i miss the wagon or whatever um, that's what this will be used for that Christmas tree wagon I have that as well that is too heavy for the ATV I'd have to tow that around with the tractor uh, 
Um, so we'll see. We have the two wagons. But anyway, the goal is to get this out of here because I have a workbench to go there. I got a workbench. We're going to put a workbench in here uh, with a toolbox, a vise. Um, like I say, eventually when we get the electric line run, we'll have a receptacle there and a receptacle there. Maybe like a bank of four receptacles on either side of the workbench. Uh, we'll put a light up over it. Um, the way I'm going to mitigate the sweating and dripping on everything i don't want my tools getting drenched with water i think we're just gonna staple a tarp up over the uh the tools and everything for the time being the work area so i was gonna put it in that corner but that corner is suited for what i have there right now so we'll just put it there it's not gonna stick out very far maybe out to here uh we'll have a bench and we can still park stuff in front of it so uh that's the goal that is the end goal and i've been trying to get uh, this the hold up is my buddy at his garage waiting for his little trailer he has it buried under a whole bunch of stuff and it's in the back and i don't know every time i ask him he has excuses but <laughs> i'm gonna gonna just go and see if i can't fish it out and uh, maybe motivate him to get it out so anyway we got uh, some things to do but i need a scrap barrel long way to say i need to go get a scrap metal barrel all right guys i just returned from the other farm i didn't take any video over there uh well there's things in the buildings that are mine that i still own that i never got moved any which way a lot of the stuff in the buildings now is dad so i don't want to be filming other people's buildings so uh we did get a barrel here 30 gallon uh, this was a uh, a milk crate that had washed up in the uh, creek so uh i used to keep my rags in that um so i'm gonna do that over here so i got that i got a couple other things all right so these aren't in the best of condition but uh, they didn't get wet they're just kind of weathered so um i i just love advertising and uh well, that one's two-sided well this one's laminated so it has a plastic coating on it field of deal or take the field 2010 parts and service it's a sale you can enter to win a case i each that's from 2010 uh so we'll hang that one up here um the other barn upstairs is filled with these i just put them up everywhere and uh, i just grabbed a few while i was over there i've been wanting to bring these over uh you're invited this is an open house flyer that they uh um had for dealers to put up uh the salesman at the dealership where i used to work just threw this stuff away and i tried to save it like i say some of them are in better shape than other here's a tillage poster at the case uh, case ih tillage equipment uh this one i wish was in better shape it got ripped or i think this is the condition that it was when i got it i think this used to hang on the uh, parts counter underneath like where your feet were <laughs> At where the stools were and i think it got uh cut up but you can still read it this was the era of the mxm the mx magnum so we got that one and this one i know it's outdated and it's probably not worth hanging up it's a 2010 calendar from hardy but it's heavy duty cardboard and i don't know we'll think about that um i have uh a complete set of Massey Ferguson filter posters. They're actual posters. It's like six or seven of them that list the model of the tractor and all the part numbers, the Massey part numbers of the filters that it takes. So um, I know Massey guys love to have that. Uh, I'm not much of a, I, I, like I say, I had Massey combines. I had a Massey 50 tractor. Massey's okay for, with me. Um, but uh, it, for somebody that was really a collector to have the complete set of posters with all the Massey models and filters, it's uh, pretty neat. So I have a lot of Cub Cadet stuff. Um, this is just a drop in the bucket of what's over there, but I just grabbed a few. So I'm going to put these up. Why not? Why not? There's enough uh, John Deere fans on uh, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> might as well have some red, red on here too. So all right, uh, I'll come back with you. Okay, so these barrels all came from work, of course. Uh, it's the Case IH engine oil 30-gallon barrel. I have a bunch of 55-gallon Hytran barrels. Uh, in case anybody's wondering, no, I did not steal them from work. Um, <clears throat> they used to throw them out. Um, they sold a couple for burn barrels, but uh, the surrounding area and the townships did not allow burning, so it wasn't a hot-selling item. Um, they loaded up, I think, 57 of them or 58 of them on a trailer. They took them to the scrapyard, and they got like $20, and they figured figured it cost, it cost them more paying the truck driver to take it to the scrapyard. So I said, I'll take them. I said, I'll take them home. 
I can use them. I burn a lot of trash. Uh, I use them for scrap barrels. So now I'll take a metal barrel that doesn't weigh very much, cut the top off. I have to use my saws all right now. I don't have the torch, so it makes a racket, but you can just cut the top off. Uh, some of them had clean oil in. Some of them were waste oil. We burned waste oil, so it might be the scuzzy oil in there. doesn't matter. It's going to get filled with scrap metal. You make them weigh more, filling them with scrap, and then you take them to the junkyard. So you just load them right on the back of a dump truck and uh, away they go. You can put smaller items in like uh, strip bolts or staples or nails or stuff that's too small to just throw in the top of the dump truck that's going to be falling out on the road. But uh, anyway, I'm going to cut this uh, top off of here and uh, keep moving along. All right, Sells All makes quick work of that. Uh, I do it outside and I let it sit out here for, I don't know, an hour or so just because you're making sparks and there is oil, there is waste oil and waste diesel in there. So it was smoking a little bit, so just to make sure it's not burning. <laughs> I don't wanna cause a fire and then bring it in the building so it can sit out there while the rainwater's dripping on it. So um, that's done. Uh, let's put up some uh, posters while we're waiting for that to, uh, uh smolder out all right so i'm running out of wall space uh, there's not much in here to begin with with these little hatches here and uh, the wind blows in here and it'll rip anything off unless it's fastened real good i put these three up here um just because they kind of fit there uh, i put the hardy one up there and i still have one to go i'm still trying to figure this out there's just not good <laughs> wall space here um for my uh uh, international man cave I guess you'd call it but uh, I'll put them there for now I just shot them in with staples that should work uh, they're they're so torn and tattered and faded and dirty um, they, they wouldn't bring much on eBay anyway so they make me happy so that's all we're it's all we're using them for all right so I'm just moving some things around here uh, just playing around basically but uh, anyway I moved that sign that I had hanging here uh, once the workbench is in place here where I want it to be um, we're gonna remove this little shelf and I think we're gonna get a piece of pegboard in this space here some guys don't like pegboard I do like it um, a lot of the complaints with it is the hooks are always falling out um, usually what I do once everything has a place and you're happy with it I'll zip tie the uh, the hooks in place and then it, it's not an issue so we'll put a piece of pegboard along here and remove this shelf maybe remove some of this uh, these two by fours just and move the shelf down we'll have to see we can do basically anything here and uh for the time being i think that'll work so all right guys all in the video there i'm just going to bring the uh barrel in and uh fill it with scrap and we should be good to go i broke my saws all and that's the difference uh, like i say it's a porter cable lowe's homeowner cordless saw and uh, that's the difference between homeowner and professional so just didn't hold up <laughs> so anyway um that's where we'll end i'll see you on the next one